Hey everybody, uh, this is Az here doing a bit of commentary on round two game one of the Irish Nationals and with me co-commenting today I've got Jared. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to be picking up actually a couple of turns into this where we've already seen um, Tateki Person Evolution being piloted by Damien Allen and putting down a couple of bits of ice, mission no shinning uh, a card and also has another installed server while we just kicked off a turn with uh, Andrew Lucas playing Noise who's already uh, dropped a cash and street pedaled out a, a daily cast as well alongside an Aesop. So we're a couple of turns into this game, um, so sorry about the missing that, but we're just going to get underway here. So I guess we've got Jared with us, we're not going to kind of spoil anything in terms of what the result was on the day. We're just going to take it match by match. This is game three out of 16 we're going to show. Yeah, and it's looking quite good. I love that uh, PA uh, alt art. So pretty. <laughs> Having that on the Team Covenant mat as well is actually gorgeous together with, with the sleeves i am i'm very jealous he's very. just showing off nice face yeah. i did play damien uh, on the day though not in the actual uh, in the actual main tournament and uh, one of the fun ones and this mission notion triple advancing i can't get it at all i just <laughs> it gets me every time <laughs> you think noise is ever going to run any of those though which is the thing so we're seeing page piper mm -hmm. um, and i'm really curious to see what is going to come off the back of that so I guess with Paige Piper, you've got to assume he's wanting to get multiples of things out, start cleaning his deck really quickly. Um, he's got his ASOPs before the page as well, side before the page as well, which maybe isn't ideal because those would have been great to thin it out. Um, I wouldn't want to run against PE. Well, I, with your noise, the, you've got the I've had worses. You've, uh, you know, if you're playing against noise, the best thing to do is is to rush out most of the time. So I would be putting all my agendas and pushing them straight out. I think the thing scary for me, if I was noise here, I've got Grimmer on the table, so I've got six memory. Mm -hmm. So if I run into something like Cortex Lock or Kamainu, it could be game over. I've had worse we see in hand though, which is great. Another wild side, which is a dead card at this point. Um, but I think I'd be much happier as the PE player right now than as noise. Well, especially against PE, Pete's Piper is not usually the best because you want to keep as many cards you know, in your hand. To protect uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you don't really want to thin your deck down unless you've got something like, you know, a Deus Ex or a Feedback Filter to keep you alive once, you're, once you've run out of cards. So influence-wise, we've just seen Cash and Aesop, so we're going to trash Wildside Grimoire, which is fine. And actually, it's a really good point you're making about thinning the deck. So he's already burning through a lot of his deck, and it's only turned maybe four here, and it looks like maybe seven or eight cards gone already. Yeah, well, it depends too what kind of noise you're going to be up against here too. He could be trying to like uh, com combo out something crazy too. So like Pitch Piper's gonna get him to his pieces uh, a lot faster as long as wild side as well. Okay, so that looked just like install credit credit for PE. So we've got four servers up now, two <laughs> two with three advancement cards on it each. So I mean my heart's palpitating just watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does feel a wee bit like solitaire at the minute, like um, Damien's got all his cards out there and no one's playing ball with it. <laughs> so the tricky thing is, do we think you know he's going to sit on an agenda all day there or is he going to look to trick of light those counters off later, if those counters off if they are Cerebral Overriders or Junebugs that haven't landed? Um, I think it's just the minute he's trying to suss out what's going on at the other side of the table. Um, normally when you see a red ID come down, you're trying to work out what, what's the game plan on here because Anarchs can really, really disrupt whatever you're up to, so you don't want to guess wrong. Not seen a lot of mills though, only one cast, only one face down card. Oh, and there's a Gila Hands. And that's a great card for PE economy. Uh, you can click Gila Hands twice, take a credit, and you're back up to full credits, which is perfect for our snares, stable overriders. And our first agenda net damage then, one and five, we're getting three. He keeps to the dice. Mm -hmm. That's a parasite. Is that three parasites gone? Mm -hmm. But at the minute, like, you know, he's not running, he's not raising any ice, he's no targets to, to put them on. That's pretty good for P. That's that's a good start, and I think we, I would expect Damien to get a bit more balls in out here. So he's left that agenda out for a turn. There's been no runs made so far. Might he start putting a few more three ones or two ones out on the board now a bit more readily? Um, you have to be careful too. Like um, if you if you put a few traps and they haven't bit, and then you start scoring agendas, you're gonna suddenly see the other guy start to catch you on and run. So you still have to mix it up still. Um, the good thing about PE normally is it's very, very scary. Anything that's, a, that's, that's mission, it's got three advancement counters on it because it could kill you or it could really, really disrupt your game. The other thing is those two cards could both be 
Ronins. Ronins, yeah. <laughs> one of my least favourite cards in the entire game. Although I think we'd need to see, what, one on four and one on three for a double Ronin, so we'd have an advance click click. For potentially six net as women, mm -hmm. three and three, three and three each time. But you, you need to have one at least on four to threaten. At the minute, I think they're probably cerebral overriders or gym bugs. I'm gonna say the closest one is a fetal, the furthest one is a cerebral. <laughs> I think I there's something about Damien uh, in the game against him, he's got a fantastic poker face, and he just puts something down barely. Doesn't he doesn't show any any <laughs> any experience at all? And fifteen later, turns later, he'll score as an agenda, and yeah. you'll be like, really? <laughs> the whole time. Well, at the moment he doesn't lose anything by having it there. It's uh, you know if they run it and they hit it, and it's the fatal. They lose two and they lose three cards, which is still uh, not a bad trade. -off. Very decent, very decent. So I think the the agenda makes you expect. We haven't seen any fetals yet. There goes a snare down. Let's see if he had. Just as I was saying, should he install more agendas? And you said maybe he could use this to entice the runner. Is he going to get a run on that unprotected server? Thinking about it. Oh, both. second. And a double credit. Oh, nice. He. Oh, it's a double. Oh, he's always oh, taking that yeah. back. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, fair enough. No, that's so. Did you did that on purpose? Is he showing a bit of indecision there? Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think he wants to get the cards out of the hand. He doesn't want to make it too easy, but. There's only one agenda or one trap that Nuri wants to have, mix it up. Like a favourite play I see people do, they'll shuffle three, three cards and put the all three and face down <laughs> and then they just go... <laughs> I, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> well, I absolutely can't, can't handle it. I never and know what to do. They're either all snares or they're <laughs> all agendas. <laughs> There's a, I think this is the first of about four different person evolution games that we're going to see over the course of these matches and uh, it's interesting to see how different people play it and double medium yeah. with two counters on straight away from Grimmar hitting the table. Uh, I think it's quite clear now that this is going to be a big dig noise deck. Oh, David as well. So well. What do we think David's protecting against? Is there anything from PE that you'd expect? Maybe an itchy 2.0? Wrap, wrap around the, the main thing that would kill you, I think. If he's on the Darwin plan and Hive Mind plan, he really needs to see his uh, incubators quite soon to get them taken up. Um, if I was the man, I would just be rushing like a mad thing. Like yeah, that. absolutely. And I think looking at Damien's deck, although he's, oh, he is actually covering R&D, I was saying it's looking like he wants to encourage runs a bit more, mm -hmm. uh, although we haven't seen his ice yet. So an Eli would say that we're happy to tax the runner, but we don't mind if he clicks through. Um, so I'd be curious to see, is he on the wraparound plan or is he on the kind of trying to just let you run but taxing you? Well, most PE decks, they don't mind you coming in because all their agendas, you know, to a certain degree protect themselves. So either future perfects or feet lay eyes or they're just one point for one net damage. And then you've still got stuff like uh, snares in there, which can do damage. There's the incubator. There's incubator, just after you said, so yeah. it's probably nicely timed. So still, he's on a clock now. The thing is, he has to be able to survive a deep dig on, yeah. <laughs> on, uh, on a gin uh, especially a piece. Jintaki is, is, a, is a frightful prospect. Do we think one of these cards is a Jackson for Damien here? Because he's got, what, maybe five face down cards now in our guys? I think he's put most of them there himself. There's only been three viruses on the board. Maybe well, I suppose the, um, the cash we see so there it is as well. Uh, but it's not a typical noise deck. You're not getting mill after mill after mill. I don't know. Was that a Kitsune he put down over Archives there? I wasn't quite, didn't quite catch the ice because it was an instant draw, instant down in front of Archives mm -hmm. there. I'm really curious. That would be fantastic. If he face punted that and had to access a card from HQ, uh, that could be desperately bad. You've just seen him draw a Ronin in there as well. So at this point, we've had four cards sitting on the table, <laughs> face down for about five or six turns without being touched. Those yeah. first three advanced cards have been there for the whole game. I think, and he's, he's constantly, I guess for me here as, a, as an Anarch, um, obviously I, I've been looking for things like Vamp, I've been looking for ways to try and get the credit total for PE down so I can safely start checking their moves. Yes. But right now, he, uh, yeah, Damien's on 11 credits. It doesn't mm -hmm. look that's likely to happen. No. And we're currently still waiting to see this, if it's gonna be a Darwin or a Faust or this Breaker Suite come out from, the, uh, from Noise here. To start forcing the reses because the last thing you want to be doing is running in and face checking i think at this stage no uh, i don't think feist is a, is the greatest breaker against pe he's no. playing straight into their their hands so he's going back for some <clears throat> what do we think uh caches must, must be he's not money he's definitely not money tight right now but yeah, yeah. extra mills extra credits especially well, with grimoire yeah 
So he's netting himself two credits spent, and then he's netting himself essentially eight credits back with two mills. So six credits and two mills. For and then you get to sell them as well for another oh, six. Subs. Oh, absolutely brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Humanity first. Wow, he, I kind of don't know. Do you know what that card does? Yeah, yeah. So basically, whenever an agenda is scored or stolen, you get credits equal to the agenda points. Surprised he didn't install that? I don't know. Well, there hasn't been a lot of uh, points scored on, on their side. And we see another server, and is that a mission notion? And another yeah. server! Okay, did you see either of those cards? Which one no. are you running? I do, I do know he did draw uh, a Ronin. Ronin. Um, wow, so we've got three triple advanced servers, and one, two, three, four, is that four or five servers not advanced? Okay. Four, I think. It's hard to sell. <laughs> There's too many of them. <laughs> okay, does the S-Op sell? I mean, uh -huh. We've got a serious amount of credits. Yeah. Uh, it says it's easily over 20, I think, up there. So. As he remembered, is... Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, good old opponents keeping the game state right. Yep. I like that. What's he got in hand He's there? got an he amped amped up. up. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we're ramping up for a big turn. Two I've had worse, is that? I in the think middle I of can hand? see. Yep. And I think he's already got the Darwin. So we're looking for the hive mind then. Yeah. Potentially progenitor? Are we worried about that at this stage? Probably not. Um, yeah, well, you want if you had it early. early. Yeah, like it's not a bad idea to um, to um, to perch here as well. Oh, here, here it comes. Star, uh -huh. We should see a mill for that. And it comes in with one. There's a lot of cards in there now. Yeah. Um, he's dicing that just for the memory, I think. Oh, just for the instant. Maybe, maybe, rip. Uh, yeah. It's better just to have. Well, uh, yeah. Ah, we had, he did the, the memory space anyway for yeah. Hive Mind, so. The Hive Mind's two, is that right? Yeah, it starts with one and then it'll get a second with the uh, Grimoire. But is it two memory Hive Mind? Uh, I don't think so. It's been oh, so long since I've used it. I'm just checking. Run out of uh, virus tokens. <laughs> uh, I think I think he says he is actually over memory here because Hive Mind's too memory. He's gonna have to get rid of something. I think. Um, he's got Dr. David. You imagine now he's got. He doesn't need it now. He's got the Darwin. No. I, know, I think David's probably the right yeah. call. There's not a lot of high strength ice in the normally. Uh, no. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh. So we're about to see. The turn kit. Now this is early, so Progenitor only has, oh sorry, Incubator only has three virus counters on it. Hive Mind only has one, but there should be a second, which I think actually does get corrected. And the brain damage off the Amped Up hits the iPad worse, which is awful. Oh, yes. Because you're going to get no card draw off that, and that's going to make a dig bad. Now I actually do know the video's going to cut here in a second, unfortunately. We had some problems with the lighting, and we lost about 30 seconds. Um, but we'll just, it's going to fade the black in a wee second, we'll fill in kind of what happens. But there's the Incubator there's tokens. The trash. How many tokens has it got? So now? there's four, but there should be five. So we're just cutting for a quick second, coming back, and we're basically corrected. So the hive mind does have five now. Yep. We've made a run on R and D. That's what we've missed. So the Eli got rezzed, the lockdown is that got rezzed, and then the medium counters um, all got a counter for a successful run. We also saw a medium install of the street peddler as well. Oh, so we've actually had a, nice. a third medium come in. Hive mind got its grimoire counter as well. So what we've got right now is three mediums each with two, but all an additional five virus counters from hive mind so they're all sitting on seven counters each so what's a that 19 six card dig one card plus six six yes. and six Oosh. And so how many cards has he got in hand um i believe he has one i've had worse and four cards in hand i think losing bad. that i've had worse so i put up a medium dig card counter here as we go so one was nothing <laughs> two was a future perfect yep and this is pretty big because this is a three-point agenda mm -hmm. Uh, a steal here would be a net damage, but a net damage for three is much better than a net damage yes. for one. And it's a miss. <gasps> I love that. Spending zero is the corp there. Is that yeah, ballsy? Yeah, yeah. There's a cerebral. Card right three, there. cerebral's gone. Card four is a psychic field. This is going to get trashed just once it's been read. What do you think about the trash? Is it good just to clear out for if you're coming back? To anyway? be honest, I don't. Do you come back? You win or lose here almost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh, another trash coming yeah. out. So this is card five. Oh, Ronan goes. I'd probably get rid of the Ronan. Yeah. Card six Fiddle. is a fetal. Now he has the option to not take it, but he's going to take the two net damage, so of course he's he's probably going to. So two, and then one additional for P, and we hit, and I've had worse. So that takes him back to four again. OK, 
Okay, so we're six cards in, <laughs> 13 cards still to go, two ones with noise. Seventh, nothing. Eighth, nothing. Thinking about that one. Nine, these are just off camera. <laughs> oh, oh, another point. Another net damage. So at this stage, uh, I know before the run started, just before it was successful, there was a Jackson triggered, and I, th I believe snares were shuffled back in, so. Looks like a gym bug. 15, 15, 16. <laughs> oh, 17's a snare. snare. Three that cards in hand. in hand. So even if he hits with a gem, they. That. Two cards left to access. If we see an agenda or another snare, it's going to be game over. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes to four points, but dies in the process oh, of doing so. That was brilliant, though. <laughs> I must admit, a 19 card dig on PE is about as ballsy a move as I think you can make. I think he was unlucky, though, that the brain damage to take the AF had worse, because that would have, you know, protected him up to six more damage. An additional, well, additional two cards? Because he would have had an extra card in, well, he wouldn't have had an extra card in hand. Oh, and I think there was a, 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 a philatic entanglement was the next card as well. That would have got him up to six points, I think. And if, if he would got the eye of high, uh, future perfect. So yeah, after an 18 card dig there, we saw unfortunately that Andrew came a bit undone um, on seeing the final agenda and just doing that last bit of net damage. Very, very unlucky with that dig. And um, if you guys want to follow along now, there's two more videos you can click through to and see the next match or the previous game. And we'll be going into uh, round two, game two next. Thanks so much, guys.